Hello there. Today I'm going to uh, take a quick trip to Ibiuna. I'm going to get the uh, paved roads, which takes about an hour and a half to Jukichiba. After that, I'm going to get an off-road track, which will take about approximately four to five hours all the way through the mountains uh, to reach Ibiuna. On the way, I'm going through the state park of Jurupura, which is a conservation unit. It has some nice places with Atlantic forest. Uh, also, I'm going to visit some uh, historical buildings. Uh, apparently, there is a very nice church, which was built on the 19th century uh, for the local people who worked on the extractive industry uh, for praying. It's a Catholic church. I'm gonna go there, take some pictures, enjoy the sight through the mountains on my F850 GS. First of all, I'm going to have my breakfast, uh, and after that, off we go. guys all sorted had my breakfast prepared my lunch and all the gear sorted <laughs> On my trips, I always like to show you me leaving Sao Paulo. As for most of us, in order to reach the wilderness, we have to go through chaos of the big cities. Sao Paulo is an exception in this world, as it is above huge. A growth which got out of control in the 70s and it doesn't stop growing organically. We are talking about almost 15 million habitants, which is way above reason. In fact, we've been growing relentless without planning for decades. Even during the current crisis, buildings continue to pop up all over the city. A shame. I am a fortunate one who still lives in a house right in a centralized district. It won't take long until a big corporation offers me money to sell it for verticalization to continue. Well, I'm heading to the south of the city in order to get to a motorway called Raposo Tavares. On the way, I'm going through Parque Ibirapuera, one of the few green areas in the city. There you can find the State Congress, the Army's Southeast Headquarters and a few monuments praising the heroes of the 1932 Constitutional Revolution. It was just an attempt to separate Sao Paulo from Brazil and its unsuccessful objective led to the emergence of a constitution mirrored from the Weimar Republic with more labor and women rights packaged in a fascist form. After this one, we had other three or four new constitutions until the 1988 one. We changed constitutions like socks around here. To ride in the city of Sao Paulo, you have to be careful with the traffic. A lot of couriers uh, and, and the corridors uh, where you can go through are very narrow. But you can get along the way in time you get used to it. But always pay attention to the mirrors uh, to guarantee that uh, people are seeing you uh, when they turn to right or left. On the motorways is a bit easier as you have wider lanes and there is not much traffic in most cases. You have paid tolls in some motorways and you have free tolls in some other motorways. Usually here in Sao Paulo the state motorways do not charge you uh, for a toll but the federal motorways charge you just a little bit. It varies from one to two reais. It's not very expensive but it's quite annoying 
because you have to stop. And here in Brazil, uh, there has been cases of accidents on the on the tolls uh, from cars who don't stop uh, while driving. Guys, uh, I'm on the way to Juquitiba and uh, I found this interesting building here, petrol station or warehouse, which they started building and then after a while they decided not to continue. You see there are a lot of uh, leftover structure for the same building. It's in between Juquitiba and Embu das Artes. It's a very nice area with some uh, tropical forest all around. A very uh, huge property. Uh, you, you can just come and, 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 and there is no, no fence and nothing. In the middle of, of these two towns there is absolutely nothing and for some reason people decided to build this structure and not continue with it. You see? Let's, let's come closer to the structure. It's a very nice place to do some off-roading. Some radical sports off-road, because you, you know, a lot of... You see? Careful, because you, you probably have some holes in here the place and then you have some sort of track which goes within uh, of this bit of forest probably native forest Eu tô no caminho certo, o Parque Juru, Juru, Jurupurá, o Pico Descalvado é por aqui, você sabe? Eu não sei, eu não tava na rua não? Não, não sei, é no Parque Estadual, você consegue chegar lá por aqui? Vai chegar lá na chama. Oi? Sai 
Tá, Vila Elma, sabe se é por aqui também? Vila Elma? É. É Vila é Elma, não? Não, não, é Elma mesmo. É, Elma. é perto de. É. Ibiúna. Perto de Ibiúna? É. Não, tá, mas é por aqui mesmo, né? Por aqui sai, pode ir. Ah, beleza. Você vai na escolinha, pega o asfalto, aí você pega a esquerda e pode ir embora. Beleza, valeu, viu? Alright guys, I'm on the way to Pico Descavado, it's at the top of a not, not, not very tall mountain and uh, I'm on the way on a, on a two hour off-road track, very easy so far, you know, just like some steep hills with uh, sandy grounds, but overall it's okay and uh, now I stopped here a little bit for a break as I'm hungry, eh? it's about half past one and uh, I always like to have my body energized so that I can do my riding on the best way, you know, uh, hydrated, well fed and uh, so I decided to stop here, just uh, bird noises, uh, smell of nature, not, not very windy but you can hear the plants, e excellent, you know, for like an hour trip from Sao Paulo, uh, it's an excellent place. I decided to pull over on the entrance of the park in order to make sure of the rules, what I can do and what I cannot do with my motorcycle. And I suddenly realized that my toolbox, for some reason, lost its cap on the way. It's probably because it was a very bumpy road, a lot of rocks on the way, and I lost it. Before you buy something cheap on AliExpress, make sure that the project is very well studied because this toolbox was properly locked and the lid fall apart on the way 
because the project is not very good. success very steep hill it's difficult for to understand how steep this hill is the camera doesn't have that effect or at least I don't know how to do it there we go bike sorted let's go Opa, a estrada tá ruim lá pra frente? Oi? Ah, tá bom? Ah, beleza, valeu!
right guys, here I am at Capella Santa Catarina. It was built in the 19th century. Probably was for the local people who worked on extractive industry, extracting wood, uh, rubber, and other things from the Atlantic forest. It's a Portuguese classical architecture. Uh, you see the color, the bluish, uh, very, very traditional here in Brazil, uh, built on the uh, Portuguese colonization. And the view up here, very nice as well. 